Queen Elizabeth is said to be overjoyed as she will meet Archie and Lilibet face to face on today, it has been reported. Today, Prince Harry and Meghan Marco will make their first return to the UK. With their two children, Archie Harrison, 3, and 11-month-old Lilibet Diana, in honor of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex left Santa Barbara Airport with their children Archie and Lilibet, and their arrival marks Lilibet's first time in the country, ahead of today's Trooping the Color, the first of the Platinum Jubilee events. For Lilibet Diana, who turns one on Saturday it will be the first time she has met her great-grandmother. Prince Harry and Meghan Marco, who will not appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony as part of opening celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, are still excited to bring their children Archie and Lilibet to the UK. The Sussexes' return will fall on the week of Lilibet's first birthday, freeing up the opportunity for the Queen to meet her great-granddaughter for the first time. A source tells the Daily Mail that, the 96-year-old monarch will not attend the Epsom Derby on Saturday, which leaves time for her to meet her great-granddaughter. Despite not appearing on the balcony, Prince Harry and Meghan Marco have announced to travel to the UK for the Jubilee and attend some events. The family of four landed in a London airport this afternoon, with a small team of staffers, Page Six reported. The Queen sent a car and a security detail to collect Harry, Meghan, Archie and Lilibet after their private jet landed in the United Kingdom from California on Wednesday, ahead of her Platinum Jubilee celebrations. In the latest sign that hostilities between the firm and the Sussexes are thawing, Her Majesty's Land Rover greeted the family and their children at Farnborough Airport in Hampshire before taking them to Frogmore Cottage. The Sun reported that, the family were believed to have got into the blacked out VW car, and that they traveled without their customary entourage or senior staff working for their Archival charity. It also said Netflix camera crews. On the 4th of June, Lilibet will be marking her first birthday, and there is mounting expectation that Her Majesty will be the guest of honor at Harry and Meghan's daughter's first birthday party. The Queen has never met Lilibet who was born in America and has never visited the UK. There was controversy at the time of her birth around the child's name, which is the same as the Queen's childhood nickname. Appears to be in the past, as the royals set out to provide a united front in the days ahead, and the Queen attending Lilibet's birthday party would certainly give a clear lead in that direction. The Queen has apparently told her family that she expects them to come together without confrontation or drama over the Jubilee. The Daily Mail reported a source saying, she wants it to be an occasion in which the country, including her own family, comes together, with an insider adding, Her Majesty is typically very keen that the Platinum Jubilee be a celebration not of herself and her own longevity, but of the institution of the monarchy and the people that support and sustain it. It is also a chance for people to come together after a very difficult period for this country. She doesn't want anything to overshadow it, and that includes any family issues. As part of this unity drive, Meghan and Harry have reportedly agreed to undertake only official and centrally sanctioned events and appearances. It has also been reported that William and Harry are back on buddy terms after a series of weekly FaceTime calls. Harry, Meghan, Archie and Lilibet are expected to fly into the UK in the next few days, and are believed to be heading to their Windsor home, Frogmore Cottage, on which, The Sun also reports, they have recently signed a rolling lease, dispelling rumors that they intend to abandon their UK base. The home was lavishly refurbished at the taxpayers' expense as an official home for Harry and Meghan, who subsequently paid back the renovation costs when they departed public life. It has been lent for over a year to Harry's cousin Eugenie while the Sussexes have been living in America. A source close to the pair told ET that ahead of the visit, Harry and Meghan quietly renewed their lease at Frogmore Cottage. The couple will stay at the home, where they briefly lived after their wedding, while they are in town for the celebrations. It is understood that Lilibet's birthday party will be taking place at Frogmore Cottage, where the Sussexes will be based for the duration of their sojourn in the UK, with Eugenie and family reported to have temporarily moved out. 
reports that the queen may be planning to attend the birthday party comes after growing speculation that she will miss the derby on Saturday. The famous horse race remains one of the few major prizes the queen has never won, and she has no runners in the race this year. However the Daily Beast understands that this is not the main reason why the queen is not attending, rather it is because the palace believes the long day of public scrutiny risks exhausting her. Queen Elizabeth, who has been experiencing episodic mobility problems, has been spending the past weekend at Balmoral to rest ahead of the Platinum Jubilee festivities. The decision to miss the derby is due to the Queen pacing herself, the source adds. Meghan and Harry welcomed their daughter in 2021, almost a year after they stepped down from their positions as senior royals and moved to Santa Barbara, California. It is with great joy that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, welcome their daughter, Lily but Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor, to the world, a statement read. Lily was born on Friday, the 4th of June at 11.40 am in the trusted care of the doctors and staff at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara, CA. She weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces. Harry and Meghan honored his grandmother Queen Elizabeth and mother by naming their daughter Lilibet Diana. Lilibet is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet, the statement explained. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. The family's return for the four-day Platinum Jubilee celebrations will mark the first time they have visited since stepping down as senior royals in 2020. According to the Mirror, Harry and Meghan have been given cast iron assurances that their family will be protected, despite ongoing issues surrounding his security in the country. The promise comes after a bitter legal row with the government after a Home Office decision to strip him of his security. The Met's Royalty and Specialist Protection Unit has reportedly spent weeks liaising with the Sussexes team and guaranteed taxpayer-funded officers. Robert Palmer QC, for the Home Office, told The Times Harry was always likely to be given higher-level police protection when in the UK. He has been awarded a form of exceptional status, which means he would be considered for personal protection in certain circumstances. Before. Harry's been petitioning the government to grant his family police protection, which he and Meghan unfortunately no longer have access to. The Duke of Sussex issued a statement regarding his application for judicial review after a Home Office decision previously ruled he would be unable to personally fund police protection for his family while in England. Harry's legal spokesperson released a statement explaining the situation in January, saying that the UK will always be Prince Harry's home and the country he wants his wife and children to be safe in. With the lack of police protection comes too great a personal risk. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex personally fund a private security team for their family, yet that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. In the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.